Hello and welcome back to the new video of the Maven tutorial series. Uh, so till now we have covered in our previous video we have covered about uh, how we can create and manage a multi-module projects uh, and we, we have also seen one example by creating one project of with Maven and we have created util core and UI all these modules and we have seen how one modules uh, functionality or the classes we can use in inside the another module that part we have covered inside uh, in our previous video oh, i hope you i hope you watch that video uh, if you don't please go and watch that video and then come come again in this video and watch this okay so for this video we will be uh, starting uh, to create a web application with maven so till now we have covered how to create a simple maven project whether it is multi module or not single module okay but now we have going to create a web maven project with a web application okay so we are creating a web application okay so let's go and uh, in our ide so this is the first screen that you will see uh, i will just go ahead and click on the new project so you too uh, do that uh, but now you can see uh, once you are opening for the first time you when you click on the new project uh, you see a uh, various uh, generators over here like maven java fx kotlin compose android you just click on the maven archetype and just name your project uh, so i'm gonna name as name my project as my first web app okay so you can name anything uh, to your project uh, that's not any problem if you want to create git repository we just click uh, checkbox this i don't want to go inside git github part okay so for that uh, i will not check that checkbox and if you want to create a new repository a uh, new folder you want to create for this uh, project then you can go ahead uh, let me just create one more new folder so that we can manage this project because we require this project for our next upcoming videos also i am going to create one new folder in my desktop name as my first uh, web app maven okay so this is my folder name i am creating okay and inside which I'm going to create my project okay uh, JDK is you select whatever JDK you have in, in your PC uh, if you don't have go ahead and download the JDK and or else you if you have you just you can add your add your JDK also and a catalog may uh, let it be internal uh, don't um, choose default or Maven central and now it most important part is archetype you have to select the archetype right so you just Go get into this drop down list and select the maven archetype web app because we are trying to create a web app right <laughs> web application so for that we have we, we will be creating an uh, archetype of web app and after that version let it be one no more uh, addition we have to do additional properties not required okay just go ahead and create the project Okay, the for, for let the IntelliJ idea sync the project and download the required files and generate the project. Okay, so it is generating the project. Once you see the success uh, uh, message of build success in your uh, console, your project is successfully created. Right now, uh, you do one thing. Uh, now you have created this web application. Right, so I will tell you the structure of this web application okay so now for the first time you see in our previous uh, video for the multi module the structure uh, is not looking like this there are different structure defined for each type of archetype that you have selected okay so we have selected web uh, archetype of web app so for the web app this structure is followed okay so we have source folder main folder under which resources and web app folder is there and under web app folder web imf and under web inf index.jsp and web web web.xml folder is there and inside web.xml uh, it is an xml file and the display name is display name tag is there and inside which archetype created web application so it, it is defining or it is telling that we have used archetype of web application and and inside our index.jsp uh, 
we have HTML tag, a body tag, and inside body tag, hello world. And you can modify this hello world uh, with whatever you want. Uh, you you can go ahead and write your name as hello world. Welcome to programming. Okay. Uh, so uh, here is the thing that you can edit. Uh, it is uh, it is HTML. You can add m more tags like H1 tag is also there in, in uh, HTML. I hope you remember. Uh, and okay, so H1 tag and we'll write uh, your name. Whatever you want to write over here, you can write and you can uh, modify this index.jsp file and this index.jsp file will get executed once we deploy this uh, web app uh, on any server uh, we will be deploying this and we will be creating the war file also for this project in our upcoming videos for this video uh, i hope you understand how we can create a web application in maven okay and so uh, uh, let me just quickly go inside my pom.xml file and uh, I will tell you what are the what are the uh, difference between this this and our normal Maven project. Okay, so you can see when I create the this project using the archetype as web app, this dependency is automatically inserted by the IntelliJ IDEA. Okay, or to be more precise, it is by Maven. Okay, so Maven has in, uh, added the dependency to the J unit automatically when we create. But when we create the normal Maven project, there is no dependency tag over there. You have to go and use the dependencies that you are required. This is the one difference between that. And one more difference, packaging type is also added as war. We'll discuss what is war uh, packaging type uh, in our upcoming videos. Okay, and version, uh, other thing is pretty much simple. Uh, and okay, so let's go and go inside our Maven uh, tab and inside of this and lifecycle we'll try to create the package of this okay so uh, double click on the package yeah now most of you will get this error okay cannot access default fields of properties okay so uh, most of you might get this error how to rectify this error I, I will tell you that uh, first of all let me go and open my one previous project where the code to rectify this error is there okay so i will go into inside my desktop uh, i will go desktop demo web application demo web app let me go and click ok i will open this in a new window this is the demo web application that i have created previously so you go here and plugin management okay so this this type of uh, cannot access the default fields of properties is a error come uh, because we have not added the plugins inside our build and that plugins we have to add over here and if you add this plugin manual and go ahead and again click on package by this time it will run smoothly and you can see uh, build success our build uh, is got created and target folder is all, also got created and this war file is also created by running our package command okay so uh, that's it for this video i hope you got the idea how we can create a web application using maven uh, okay and in our upcoming video we will be deploying this web app in an apache tomcat server and we'll see how we can deploy it and how to manage that uh, application web application on the uh, apache tomcat server we will see that one as well so thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you in the next one